Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Steel and Creed here with a new video for you all today. As always, make sure to subscribe so you keep up with our new and upcoming content. Now, today we're going to be going over some of the new items with the new Mario update. And not just that, but more specifically, we've seen some amazing and very, very unique and creative things and concepts from uh, different individuals in the community and we really really want to highlight our three favorite most creative things to make with the new mario items stuff that you really wouldn't kind of think of when you just think of you know like a random warp pipe or a block or a coin or anything like that we really wanted to highlight the creators as well as these unique ideas and also show you all how to build them on your own island now number one we wanted to show you all this amazing subway line that was created by reddit user chikachu they posted on reddit and got over 19,000 upvotes on this so they were able to create a functional subway line on their island utilizing the new warp pipe items in order to do this you need two warp pipes and two inclines on your island in addition to that as far as like decor we recommend maybe using a couple of simple panels that are customized well as some potential fencing and we'll see if we can kind of follow a little bit of the theme that we saw the reddit user make on their island so as you can see here we have already one incline on the second level going down to the first and now it doesn't necessarily matter specifically which level you do this on as long as you are able to go at the to the bottom of the incline because that is very very important of course so what you want to do is you want to lay down the warp pipe at the bottom of the incline once you do have that you're basically halfway there all you need to do is ensure that you have this same setup in another location on your island. Whew. Okay, made it to the other side of the island. Again, same setup, incline number two, second level going down to the first. And what we're gonna do is just plop this warp pipe. And now of course, all you gotta do is interact with it with pressing A and you have a functioning subway line. You can put down a simple panel here. They had the fencing match the color of and both the color and the style of the incline. So we thought that was that was just clutch and looked really really nice. So that's what we're doing to our subway on the opposite side you can do the same you can add some decor and add fencing if you want you can add contrasting fencing or again you can add some fencing that matches the incline style or incline type and there is how you make a functioning subway line this Reddit user made a post with over 5,000 upvotes and they were able to make a tunnel utilizing the new blocks from the new Mario update. Now, as far as what you'll be needing to make this, it kind of depends on how long you want the tunnel to be. But what we're going to be doing today is using about 16 floating blocks and 16 regular blocks. Uh, so... It's gonna have, I guess, a length or depth of about eight squares or eight blocks deep tunnel, essentially. You gotta get the uh, island designer started, start some construction. And you're gonna wanna make two lines or two, two cliffs, essentially, with the length of what you're gonna want. So let's, let's see here, what did we say? Eight by eight, at least. We're gonna to wanna to get up there, so I think we're gonna to wanna to have it be at least nine spaces deep, so. 
to do this, you want uh, kind of two spaces in between the following clip that you're going to be making at least. And once you have this, you're essentially done utilization of the construction permit for this one. You can utilize a ladder and you wanna just lay down the regular blocks all up and down the cliffs. And once you finish on one side, of course, you wanna repeat and do the exact same on the opposite side. Just the very uh, quick Dom appreciation moment right here. You're gonna wanna start laying down the floating blocks. Yep, just like that. All right, so once you have everything like that, you want basically essentially even rows. So what we have is like four rows of eight to uh, rows of eight blocks and that are raised on a cliff and then two rows of the floating blocks that are just floating. And of course, once you're done, you have an amazing tunnel. You can really kind of see like the curvature and everything, which looks really, really cool and amazing. And of course, you can always decorate the little area. Um, we know that the the user on reddit um, put some phone booths out front you can put a couple of street lamps if you want however you want to decorate the area you're if you want you can put some stuff on top of the tunnel even and now we're pretty excited to see this at night because this is probably gonna look super super dope and super nice at night with the like lights lit up and everything but you can all also of course update the uh, floor path in the tunnel you can make it like stone or brick or whatever you want to and everything so a lot of different ways that you can customize this but it's just such a cool functioning tunnel that you can finally include in animal crossing and now for our final concept slash creation of this video that we're going to share with you all at j trench gaming on twitter posted this incredible house that they were able to make utilizing just the floating blocks and the regular blocks from the new Mario update. As far as how to create this, we estimate about 12 floating blocks and 16 regular blocks. And as far as any optional additional things, you can uh, just any, any kind of decor, however you wanna uh, decorate the home it would be up to you. So first and foremost, we're gonna go ahead and get started with the base. The base, it looks like it, it will, we're gonna need at least a six by six space. Okay, so what we did was we just laid out a six by six path, utilizing a custom path, but just, you know, just a terracotta one. Of course, you're welcome to do any style that you want. But the reason why we did this is just so that we can also have um, an idea of how to build the cliff. So the, the, the main thing that you want to do is build a cliff for the ex exterior of the home. So the way you'll want to do it is you'll want to leave two spaces in the middle and then you'll have two spaces to the right and two spaces to the left. And you're gonna have that at the front of the home as well as the back. And of course, you're more than welcome to make this your own. And if you want entrances on any like side entrances, of course, go for it. You know, definitely our, our idea behind the video is more show to show you all how to make at least something very similar to what the original creators made. And then you can just go from there and just make it your own. All right, awesome. So now 
we have essentially the all the walls for the structure of the home. So now the next thing we want to go on to do is lay down the blocks around, uh, on top of the cliffs and everything. Now, if you're very anal about having the blocks facing the exact same way, if you just add an extra cliff behind and in front of the home, you can definitely, definitely do that. So we'll show you, we'll show you what we mean here. So if you didn't have this, the only way that you'd be able to put down this block would be from the side, right? So you'd have to put it down like this. And then when you start coming down, it, it won't be, I guess, all the same line. It's gonna be kind of crossing at the top. Ha, <laughs> crossing, get it. But if you don't want that, again, just a little bit of extra clip on the side will easily solve that problem for you. And then you can have everything going uh, laid down and facing the same way. So we want to just continue doing this again, kind of similar to the tunnel creation as far as the making of the home and having all of these block items being put on the cliff, the regular block items. And then of course, afterwards we're going to include the floating blocks for the center of the home, which will basically kind of complete this roof. Okay, so once we have that done, we can kind of get rid of this little excess cliff that we have on both the front and the side. And then this back portion, just get rid of it. And now we can really set this off with putting up the floating blocks. So a quick update to before, we ended up having a four by four space in the center. So we ended up actually using 16 floating blocks. So it's a little bit more than what we had initially thought. And then of course, you are more than welcome to add some floating blocks in the front and the back. We don't have enough to really make it <laughs> exactly the same, but you can add some in the front and the back and everything to kind of seal off the, the, the roof, or you can always leave it open a little bit. So you can kind of maybe even see a little bit more inside of the home if you have any decorative items or anything that you want to add. All right, so those were the three most creative ideas and concepts that we've seen thus far utilizing the new Mario items in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Again, there's plenty out there and we know that we're going to see way, way, way more, such as this amazing looking waterfall hint hint we'll go ahead and link you all up above in case you all missed that video hopefully this inspired some of you to go out and make some updates on your island everything we know it's definitely inspired us and we're super excited with the new updates and very excited for the future updates upcoming hashtag sanrio hashtag hello kitty supremacy but we hope that all y'all are doing well staying safe as always, hopefully y'all subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with our upcoming content. Drop a like on the video because that would just help us tremendously and we'd really appreciate it. Drop a comment below if you are going to use one of these ideas on your island. We would love to know. So as always, we hope y'all are staying safe and we will see you next time.